when is that day ready? Um, I'm not sure if I have an intro yet, but I just wanted to put it up because sometimes I'm getting ready. Like right now, it's just time ready. So I am, um, Hitana needs a picture, like a, a family picture for school. I'm going to pick up the copy now. I already placed the order in like a little school supply store on La Sien in Cabo Rojo. It's like super stretchy. I think they're yoga pants, but I'm not using them for yoga. Although I do yoga, that I don't use these for yoga. I prefer fitted clothes for yoga. I don't like loose clothes. I don't do yoga that often. Um... I've been at a beginner's level for about six years now because it's not I always say I want to get super into it and I never seem to really get into it I always wind up doing other things more learning other things better um, but yoga is I feel so crucial and important for everyone I think it's great for the kids to do it as well it's relaxing it's calming and it's really good just for basic stretches basic stretching it's so 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 good so I love yoga, yes, and I try to do beginner, intermediate. That's as far as I can get. So anyhow, I'm going to get the picture. Um, I need hoop earrings for my costume for Halloween. And um, there was something else that I needed. So I might have to stop going to some like local stores in the area. We have a few in the town. I'm not sure they're still going to be open. A lot of them close by 5 p.m., which... Will, might force me to have to go to Walmart. I don't like Walmart, but I might have to go there, unfortunately. So I might have to get some extra things. I'm pretty sure I have to get some extra things. And the only thing that uh, is not so great is that the stores are probably closing at 5 p.m. that are local. See what I can just say. Do my best to support the local businesses. So. Then I think probably the next clip of this. <laughs> See, Joseph. I think um, I think probably after this is gonna be a cooking clip. They make a puzzle. Are we just getting a little bit of stuff? Yes. Oh, a lot of stuff. No, just a little bit. Oh, it feels so good. Are we getting? Hey, Santa, they are mad. Why some mosquito there? Oh, yes the makeup I think I'm gonna do the makeup in a live I just realized because I put a little makeup on today I hope you're not too excited because I really don't even use that much I think it probably just appears like more maybe in the video you'll we'll see when I put it on that it's not that much I it's mostly the mascara when I put mascara on it really just makes the whole look look like um, a lot What I um, have in the cooking video is actually a healthier version of typical food oh, from mommy, here. Oh, mommy, why are you stick it down? On slide. I had to get a couple of things also from the store. JJ's uh -huh. gonna hang out here by the pool and then hang out with my husband. My husband works from home. Um, I'm vlogging. Oh gosh, my hair's drying, obviously. This AC feels so good running through my hair, like through all the sweaty parts. Because just from coming downstairs, I got hot. Just that. I wasn't even doing anything major. I got in the pool with JJ for a little bit today and got a little sunburn accidentally because we were just listening to such good music that I, I kind of wasn't paying attention to come back upstairs and I got some sunburn. But it's all good. <laughs> Put some makeup on so the makeup evened it, it, evened it out a little bit. But I definitely got a little like red on my cheeks. Well, the first is in here. Hey. There's also a bunch of horses by Hitana School and they're really beautiful because they're white and brown spotted.
Este, ya yo envié un, un mensaje por email con una que necesito una copia de una. Parece, guys, I really, really had no intention of lagging. I didn't remember people saying that they like when I cook, and although I think I've made this before on this channel, I'm just gonna just quickly vlog it and just show you a little bit of what's for dinner tonight. It's a mess. We are, or I should say, not we. I am in the process of getting all the Halloween things away. <laughs> Halloween was yesterday. It, they do not lie when they say that November 1st is like the first day of Christmas in Puerto Rico. So here are most of my things. I'm just putting them in my bags now. And actually that bench over there has my Christmas storage. So when I take those things out, then I'll put these things in in plastic bags. So just some bananas. We always leave these out to snack on during the day. Bananas, papaya, chinas. That's my husband's like um garbage from um pruning bonsai and then of course he just throws it into the compost i am dripping sweat dripping it shows up because i'm cleaning cooking uh, the basics for a sancocho i don't have everything but i have viandas i have sofrito um that is actually sofrito that i made it's just a bottle that i reuse i do buy Sofrito um, that is uh, already made in the store for emergencies. You never know. So yeah, I have that one filled with my sofrito. <laughs> and I have hecao from the garden. I have some yuca. I even though I have sofrito, I usually like to have fresh, fresh. You know, if I have it on hand, fresh um, cebolla. Pimiento, ajo. Um, I'm going to add carrots, potato, sweet potato, and yuca to this vegan or vegetarian sancocho actually because I do not have meat. We only eat meat here. I cook meat once a week and we eat it until it finishes. So that lasts us like maybe two days and that's it. So this is what's going on here. How cool, guys. This is so my style because it's like flowers and pretty but it's also like rah, like sexy and wild i love it very love it, love it very dainty but but edgy love the design i mean you already know this is my coffee pot my um oh actually yeah you guys know my cafe it's my cafe inside there you guys remember we cracked open a coconut we had some uh, um, coco frio last week and we saved the coconut skins and i am making coconut milk with that so don't worry about them so that's it. okay mama baby it's okay you don't have to on a rainy afternoon my husband had all today so it's kind of nice having him home some extra help and we were also getting the car fixed because the AC, something was wrong with it, something was malfunctioning. So we didn't have a car today. And that's it. I will show you a little bit of the process and then show you dinner when it's ready. And I don't have aguacate today. <laughs> it almost feels like a sin to have like a, a sancocho or a sopa with ajo blanco and no aguacate. Leche de coco, just to thicken it up. That's obviously not super common or typical for sancocho, but because I have it on hand, and I would like to add some to this, that's what I'm going to do. Then the obvious seasonings I have here is some sazon, some salt, pepper, 
um, no oil. I am not adding not even a drop of oil to this. There we have bay leaves, we have sazon, we have salt, pepper, oregano, um, that's about it. I will add a little drop of apple cider vinegar to this. You can add white vinegar or no vinegar at all. I just think it helps to like blend all the flavors together. It gives it a nice acidity without it being too much. And now I'm going to add the coconut milk. Okay guys, the rice is almost finished. It needs about 15 more minutes. And this is finished as well. I'm just going to add some corn now, maíz, corn on the cob. I don't know how to say corn on the cob in Spanish. Masolta, masolta. <laughs> to this now and just let it boil for about another five minutes. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Send meal. Send meal. Send meal. Send Una cámara como encima del plato, directamente encima. This is my husband's plate because I am going to do exercise now. Let's put some juice in there. Mm, some rice, like I said, this will be so much better with aguacate. Trying to do pretty much um, oil free wherever we can. So, if you want to do like the cute little rice ball or shape rice you just press and then gently loosen the edges and then try to drop it yep, and there you go so there we go that is dinner for tonight again this is my husband's plate and i i can't get tired of saying this but this would be better i work out there for real or even some tostones or something but again when we're eating at home we eat i i cook pretty simple i cook the typical food but basic i try not to fry anything um i'm trying not to put oil in anything that really doesn't need it um sometimes i don't have all the ingredients so you just make what we, you know food with what you have like for example i'm making that coconut milk there so i just added some of that so this just to thicken it up and give it like a little slight coconut flavor to it just to use what you got look at that sky wow i love when the clouds do that it sort of creates like a window yeah close the door papi oh it looks like it's gonna rain again i think maybe not but it definitely looks like it's a big possibility what do you think see Oh, que frío. You feel that cold air? It's gonna rain again. Oh, it's just too cold. Look. <laughs> See the cat. Wow, the sky looks so intense. Que frío, baby. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's so Don't do it. Don't do it. <gasps> Deja eso. Leave it. Don't open it. Don't open it. Mm -mm. Banana ring. That's why you too spoil. Because you just want the hitana love. <laughs> <laughs> Such a baby, wishy wishy. You such a wishy wishy, Chi. Can I take this one? The show, Papa. Um, I'm not 
sure if I have an intro yet, but I just wanted to quickly talk because sometimes I'm getting ready. Like right now, it's just tying my hair in a bun and um, braid and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to share something with you about stimulation. I was thinking about um, a comment because, yeah, even though I might not get upset about some of the bad comments that I get on my account, it doesn't mean that they don't sort of stick around and teach me something. A comment that I got saying, you know, saying that other YouTubers are doing really well except for me, that I don't have any substance or that what I do basically doesn't have like any heart and soul kind of sort of. I, if I can find the comment again, I'll copy and paste it and leave it below just so that I don't say something incorrectly but basically that's kind of like what they were saying like my channel is doing horribly something's wrong with me right um in a way that is true it actually kind of is true because i won't do things to i mean sometimes of course sometimes when i have to treat this like work there are things that i will import or that i will intentionally vlog or or set up to come out in a vlog for the purpose of having a good video right for the most part i don't think i just my frequency or the vibration that i i function on is a little bit higher than most and i'm not trying to put anyone down because believe me the growth that i have had in these past couple of years has been significant i have come a long far away from who i was notice that a lot of people they're not happy and they need stimulation and sometimes that's a good thing right sometimes it's it's a dependency almost like an addiction almost like having a rush um you just constantly need to feel uh stimulated for like just momentary happiness but silence is not good enough or it's not fulfilling enough and i love i love is not even the word i am one with sitting in silence it is absolutely crucial crucial for my well-being to be able to sit in silence um it's very tempting and i bit the bad apple once and i will never do it again i think at the beginning of my little career here on youtube i sort of maybe did some things or even just involve myself with some people just for the sake of like oh well this is the youtube life so let's do it and i will never go down that road again I was able to see the truth and a lot of things and i'm so grateful to be one of those few people that can actually see the truth i'm so grateful for that i really am like that just says something to me um and i i just thank the universe for me being one of the few that can actually see something for what it really is um but i don't regret it i don't but i definitely would never again so i have a general love for everyone i do because i'm a kind person i'm not a malicious person um but i definitely have been treated unfairly indirectly by people i've def people have definitely been fake nice to me um and i pick up on it now i think they do it because it works to their advantage or people even they want i learned this from somebody um on instagram um they want a token puerto rican they want like that one puerto rican friend or that one puerto rican person that they can say it's not always me i'm not saying it's me but they it makes them look more appealing it makes the community come together more and say like oh wow but look this puerto rican supports that person i feel bad for some people i really do because I know some people are just really being nice and kind and it, I think it takes a really strong confident person to have to be the bad guy when you know you're a good guy if that makes any sense to you so I take full responsibility for being the bad guy even though I'm a good guy good woman meaning that I will not participate I will not support and I will not um, indulge and anything that is not coming from a sincere place for anything in life here in YouTube and here in real world my husband and I if you all know we were just going through a divorce and guess what that video 
that divorce video has about twice or triple the amount of views that most of my other videos have because it's drama something went wrong people want to see that it's it's different it's interesting this sometimes don't even want to bring attention to this I don't always want to talk about these things because I feel like then it becomes like a, a debate or it becomes a he said she said type of situation um, so every once in a while if I feel the need to have to sort of just plug this little topic in here then I will I think I would be in my right to throw anyone under the bus that I wanted to I do think I would be in my right but I wouldn't because that at the end of the day doesn't serve me a good purpose I don't think because it's not really who I am um, I'm not I don't that's not my thing um, I feel like I talked about this enough right now I wanted to touch up briefly here for you guys just to give you like a summary of sort of what that was about and just because I had another feeling of that right now while I was getting ready I wanted to say that I've been fooled myself I've been fooled before um, and it's okay I think um, it is totally okay to say you've been fooled. I think that there is nothing wrong with admitting it. Um, there's something wrong with not ever wanting to see that. I think that's where the fault lies. So it's like even in the mar in my marriage with my husband and I, we both messed up. We both messed up. And we needed to not be together and to not... To not have the distraction of um, comp out each other's company, to be quite honest with you, in order to have separate thoughts and separate feelings and in order to really understand what it meant to not be together anymore, to realize that there was absolutely no way we can allow that to happen, that we wholeheartedly wanted to make it work and we had to make it work and we had the tools to make it work it's always been there because we have love and that is the base for anything and anything worthwhile okay let's head to the beach i might bring you i'm not yeah, sure it's it's here i am again i'm just closing out this vlog i feel like i did it already but i wanted to leave you guys on a little bit more of a positive note because at the end of the day, or even the beginning of the day, in the middle of the day, I am a person who wholeheartedly believes in love, second chances, um, peace, friendship, unity. I think the light is better over here on this side. I believe in all that good stuff. Sometimes the journey or the path to get there is not always so smooth and easy. Sometimes you have to almost feel like a toxic or negative person um, or cut open and expose. Sometimes you have to come out of character. This is pretty normal, I think, for everyone. We all have a story. We all have a journey. We all have a purpose. We all have a message to give, to contribute, whether we like it or not. And um, I think that I think that if we can all just cut each other um, some slack, give each other a break, give, e give people a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Um, at the same time, be aware and conscious and awoken. Um, if we could just find that happy balance, that happy middle ground, I think that we would we would just by nature feel lighter and happier so oh <laughs> so i have my butt here <laughs> on the screen this is so funny because i'm gonna get probably a lot of hate for this but um the mosquitoes are literally biting me through the screen there because i'm leaning against it it's funny um just a quick thing i'm actually headed back to the beach to to take photos because I received this bathing suit. I think I I think I sent you guys a video in one of the one of my vlogs ones from a designer here in Puerto Rico. Um, what they call slow fashion. It's a local girl woman, and I just support her without expecting anything in return. And one day she had this piece. It was in a size large, and she thought it would fit me. She loved the idea that I wasn't you know in my 40s or I just reached 40 and um, 
she offered it to me at like half price which i found amazing i just i can't even begin to tell you that meant so much to me and i said of course i'll i'll thank you for offering that to me i'll, I'll definitely purchase it and she wants to she has like a feature every week on her instagram and she wants to feature uh me and the bikini and when i wore it last week i didn't take any pictures i only took like a video of me and jj i think so i'm actually putting it on again to just go take some pictures for her um the point is that this is where i say that doing these type of things these social media things it's such a like a a thin line between like real life friendship work um doing things because you feel um like uh you have to meet certain levels or guidelines in order to be able to be successful but then there is a way there is a way that you can do it where you're sincere and you're genuine and even if you are just doing something um for a paycheck look guys when i was getting divorced i thought that was it and i went through an ugly moment where i was going to vlog all of that um just because i thought it would grab a lot of people's attention and i would get more views on my videos and i would get more money i actually thought about that that actually went through my mind because i felt almost a little bit desperate to just make some quick money to just have like a thicker cushion to feel more secure and i'm glad that i, I didn't do that i'm glad that i did it because when i finally told you guys about what was happening it was months months later um and i only said little things here and there but when it first first became a reality for us i kind of almost went into survival mode and i was like Maybe I should just vlog this. I should just tell everybody exactly what's happening because, you know, that's going to grab their attention because it's sort of like drama, it's tragedy, and I'll get a lot of views. And I'm not too proud to admit that to you guys. Um, even with my son, sometimes I want to show things because I think I will appear appeal to a bigger audience. And then I stop just because he's so aware at this age that he is now that I don't want anything to ever upset him, I guess you can say, so I don't do it. So I think with him, it's easier for me to stay, stay real and not um, become like a, a sellout or to do something um, with bad intention or selfish intentions. It's just, it's easier for me to stay good at heart with him. But when it came to the divorce, I almost did it. I almost made this sort of like a series of my life getting divorced, living, you know. There are so many things that I did that I wanted to vlog for you guys, and I didn't do it. Because I, I'm glad that I had that voice inside of me still strong and still, maybe it was more quiet than usual. Um, but it was still there. And I'm so glad that I was able to resist doing things just... Um, for, to get money or just to get popular I don't think it's the most terrible thing in the world that somebody can do I don't there are more important problems going on I guess I'm just speaking to you because this is how you know me. you know me through here what what I show you is what you know right you don't know everything uh, it's really good to do my hair and put some makeup on and look pretty in the video and do happy things with my children but you don't know all the ugly things that go on here either um, we're not bad people, but you know what I mean. So I just wanted to leave on just like a happier note of we can do it. We can all just adjust a few things internally. Don't worry so much about everyone else. Just worry about yourself. That's it. Besitos. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.